are you? Togazan Makosinam good and you? I'm good, thank you. Thank you. Can we start with a short introduction? Can you just please let people know who you are and <clears throat> some insight into what the Vugam Goma campaign is about and how you came to be a part of it? Uh, good afternoon, Bokoko Nabom Kulu and all our listeners and you, the host. Thank you so much for the opportunity. And in this whole confusion that we find ourselves in. Mm. Firstly, let me start like um, introducing myself. My name is Kokon Chele Cheng Spedi. With the S's must have a cap. And Aka Feling Mahonwa. And if intelligence is hard for you, Bangoma, Mabora is, is, is the best way that can go easily for some people. Uh, I'm a traditional healer and I'm a spiritual healer as well. And very passionate about Ubungoma Betu, very passionate about the spirituality thereof. There are some huge differences. Mm. As you call huge Gangaga, we do the same processes. Mm. And yes, and Mina. Vugam Goma, the campaign that wants to be heard in these platforms, and a campaign that wants to bring all Abanyabangoma who are not affiliated in any organizations like us. You know, um, when you hear about the uh, other affiliations, you, you start thinking whether I want to belong there. So Vugam Goma is merely where we want to have a belonging, and also to bring in the youngsters, Abantuanabe to Paratualendawo, you buy umlapi to know the rules and to say to them, Ubungoma, it's not, it's not um, a curse. To be a spiritual healer is not a curse. Go and uphold yourself. Go and be proud about your calling because you are anointed. Not everybody's chosen. You are anointed. And then Sishang and Lewi, where we're going to share ideas and share and have some discussions around our, our gift without being prejudiced, without being pressurized, without being labeled to go to Izolo, you know? And with Ugam Goma, we're looking at balancing. We want to have a very vigorous balance between the skills and the abilities and our calling so that we allow this new generation to have a platform whereby they'll be given opportunities to, to, to talk, the opportunities to share ideas, the opportunity, opportunities to show their abilities, the opportunities to show their skills. Much I'm appreciative of you, Bantuan Abam, young as you are, you had the braveness to go and open EvroSavi because you're bringing all, you're collecting the knowledge, you need the knowledge, you need that. And me now feeling on the outside of Ungo Mabam in spirituality, I'm a professional person uh, who has worked to many multinational uh, companies and I'm a professional executive and a business coach. So what I did in Tate, my skills and my abilities, and I'm bringing them back into Ubungo Mabam and my healing, because we are a very broken society in terms of, of Ubunyang Abetu and in terms of our spiritual healing. We, have a broken, we are a broken society, and we continue breaking the new generation that is coming after us. So city Vuga Mgoma, Vuga. Because we have been sleeping, we have been napping. So we're mm. paving ways for you, the young ones, to come and take over from Tina. You know, next time I don't want to be sitting on this platform forever. I want to sit back and look and say, I have got, I have mentored. I have mentored people and they, they love the gift that they have got. Thank you. Mm. Thank you so much for that. Um, as, as a campaign, what has been, um, how has the, the coronavirus kind of affected how it is that, that the, the, the functionality of the campaign and has it changed, the, the, has it changed, has the coronavirus pandemic changed Bugam Goma in any way? The, the, the corona, the COVID-19, Masibi is a COVID-19 in short. Um, it has actually, it was a root awakening. For, for Uvugam Goma, and it was a rude awakening for all Abalapi in this country. To be honest, we were all found um, flat footed. We were all found not knowing Ugutisiapi when it hit us. 
And should there have been the programs that the government introduced 25 years ago that never tapped into it, we would have not be running around like this. And, mm -hmm. and, and, the, and the most important thing that makes Bugam Goma to be now so vocal and very active in it is that we realize that some of the platforms have been created for certain individuals or certain group. And we thought probably the government will be coming in and draw everybody in and say, whoever has an organization or whoever belongs to a certain organization, even the non-organized people that, are, that have a calling or abalapi, let's sit around the table. But only when they start being pushed, that's when we realize, but you know, man, we have been quiet for a long time. And Ivugam Goma, we are, we are sort of like corporate. You know, we want to run our, our, our organization like corporate because people believe if Ivugam Goma, you cannot even speak English. That's why they are, we are now treated this way. So it has changed Ivugam Goma to be, to be standing up, to be vigilant now, and to be more active and to be seen in many, many platforms that are, have been created because we look... We want to bring all fears of, of Abangoma into our Vugamgoma. We are not um, rebellious. We're not fighting people. We're not fighting any organization. We, uh, let, 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 me be just, let me just boast here. We go for bigger things. We don't go for pettiness. We don't go for small things, but we're going for bigger things and say, Ubungoma betu, siya vuga manje and we will continue fighting for the rightfulness eh, to Lana in South Africa. Yes. Mm -hmm. And um, do you have, um, I, I, I'm wondering about your, you know, because it's, it, it, you're heavily focused on, you know, organizing um, traditional yes. healers in, in a way. Um, do you have any affiliations with, government organizations do you work in you collaborate in any way with the government in in organizing and in, in organizing traditional healers um how, how do you feel um your co the collaboration with the government with the government is is it necessary is it something that um that you, you participate in uh, you need to understand one thing we are not in partnership with government there's no partnership in government. However, we are working together with government. Because in the first place, our sector itself, it has not, we are not organized, Tina, no way to in the sector. And therefore, the government, we're working with them together because there are programs that they wanted to run, there are programs that they wanted to extend, and they will take is uh, or some organizations to run those programs, but there is no partnership with government at all. Hence, on my previous, um, I had a talk on last week, and I said, people, we need to organize ourselves. The government needs to hear from us what do we want. We have to be able to 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 direct the government. The government's job only is to is to create an environment whereby we'll be able to 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 talk. We'll be able to to practice, we'll be able to come up with programs that will benefit the community, that will benefit the society, and Gakulu, that will benefit the society among Goma. There's so many, there's so many social issues around Abantu Abaizangoma that we need to uplift them, that we need to give them a better life as a, as a, as a sector and as an organization of Yovugam Goma. So we're not in partnership with government but we are working together. So if Vugam Goma currently, we have nothing so far that is tangible that I can say the government has played a role, the government has influenced. We are standing up on our own with our own resources because we're saying enough is enough. We want now to be given the equal platform like any other person. There can be hundreds of, of organizations and we do have many organizations They have Uh, I think there's a connection problem. Yeah, it's just like loading. Mm. Okay, so we lost Coco for a second. How is it showing there? 
Yes. Yep. Yeah, we lost her. Okay. So I'm not sure whether I, I do want to give her a chance to finish up. She's got like a whole 10 minutes left. Um, one second. I'm going to try her again. Let's see. Because if we can. So to join the forum, what does that have to do? What's the lie? Yeah. Do we do uh, the application form? Is it a fee? How does one participate in Bugango? In Bugango? Is That's a good Bugango? question. How do you participate in this campaign? Yeah. How do you add your voice to the voices of Sangoma? Mm. Let's say stick to uh, to hear from. Mm, mm. How? Okay, yeah. So like she points out that there's so many social issues. Yeah, man. She points out that there's so many social issues near Bugango, and there's plenty of them mm. from. Mutwasa and your basic mm. uh Matwasa always have issues. Uh and Masses Matwasa always have issues. It translates to Bango Ba Bobela also have an issue mm. because you can't just do one party have an issue when it's a when it's a relationship between two people. Mm. So uh, so how does one Yes, I'm back. Sorry, my 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 network okay. my my wi fi mm -hmm. keeps yeah, my sorry, my Wi-Fi keeps in and out. I'm not sure what's happening, but my daughter is, is just taking care of it. Um, okay. I, I was saying that, we, like we as Bangoma in this health, uh, traditional health uh, sector, we have lots and lots of organizations, which is the, which is the right thing. Which is the right thing. There's nothing wrong with it. We mm -hmm. as Bugam Goma, we're saying, create a platform of equality. No one is above the other in this organization, in this creating these organizations. Create a platform of equality. We are a, we are a country whereby we preach equality, but the, 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 the people that need to create that kind of environment, they have chosen to, to lean on certain few organizations. So we as, as Bugam Goma, we are crying for the space in the environment that actually that is wrongly uh, that, that is wrongly made, you know, mm -hmm. and we don't even have, we, we don't even want to say people should be members and start soliciting money, you know, mm -hmm. and saying membership fees and all that. Yes, the, 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 the organization will need to run because we need some funding. But for now, we're saying, we're calling all upon everybody to say, come and join and let's all be together and have that, that space within the environment. We are not a political party. We are not campaigning for anything. We are saying equality in every platform is our right. Yes. Mm. Thank you for that. Um, how do you feel about the government's uh, inclusion of, of, of traditional healers in, in, in this fight against the coronavirus? How do you feel about that? What's your, your thoughts? What are your thoughts on their efforts to include traditional healers? in the in this fight um I, I, i'm going to be honest I'm going, I'm going to be honest from from the perspective of sitting back and watching um the government's intentions in the first place was not to involve us at all all traditional healers i'm not choosing an organization i'm not choosing an, an a person or whoever the government never had an intention to include us and I must, be, I must say, I'm grateful for the people who fought for, for, for that time for us to be involved in, 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 in this COVID-19. And if you look at how the government unfolded from the in, for when they started coming in to include us, they included the, the healers into this COVID-19 just to get rid of us, number one. You know, we were making too much noise and they were not understanding why we we're making so much noise. So the, the, the decision probably was that just bring those people in and let's promise them one, two, three, and let them be quiet, you know, so that we can breathe a little bit, you know, not knowing that they are creating another monster over and above. And now this monster is growing and growing and growing. And I wonder how are they going to be able to handle the monster that they have created. I feel that they did not include 
the traditional healers uh, sector in a proper and a meaningful way to play a role in the COVID-19. Because number one, they, they, they would have uh, seek some, some, some um, intelligence and knowledge around the cure or around the vaccine or around any process and, and the understanding of, 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 uh, of, 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 the, of the coronavirus, you know? Let them, let's sit around and discuss it. So what they did, they just came on board with the traditional healers because they were put under pressure. But however, we were not on the table with them. They were, we were not even uh, thought of, we were just not even existing in the line of people to consult. And I'll tell you why I'm saying that. If you look at the lock, uh, level, uh, level five lockdown as everybody, they relaxed to level four and every, every sector and everybody were given a bit of an opportunity. We were not even included, we came in last. In level three, they totally forgot about us. They totally forgot about us and they, they just relaxed some of the things. And, and, and one of the examples that I would say, they should have been able to distinguish between a tobacco and the use of the tobacco, the cigarette of the smoking, and in its name, Nabom Pepo, and all that, you know? They should have looked at that. So what happened, they, they crippled the, the traditional healer sector. They crippled them because some of them are in Nimi Sebenzi You know, this is our sector. We live on it. And we, we see a lapa, since I meet and all that. But they, they continuously, continuous, continuously disregarding the traditional health sector in totality. Hmm. Hmm. So, Boko, what, what would then... Um, the Vugam Goma's uh, contribution in in the fight against the coronavirus. Mm. Our contribution is that we we calling for the government to sit around the table with all on all other organisations, whether recognised mm. or not, not to be listening to one or two or three organisations. Uh, mm. we, we we need to all sit around the table with the government. And the other organizations, let me start there, they need to understand that we are not fighting each other because there's nothing to fight for. There's nothing to fight for. We know there are no millions. We don't have a budget. We don't have anything. But we're all fighting for equality uh, in the, with the gift and the calling that we have. So the government needs to create an environment of inclusivity of all the organizations and, and, and let's discuss it and say, what are your roles? How do you want to see yourself being recognized within the government's uh, uh, structures? And the other thing that I, need, uh, that I would like to see when we're sitting with the government of all the organizations is the government to come up with a proper structure. Because for now we've got only two structures that are not even talking, only one probably is talking to the traditional health sector but the other is not talking to the traditional health sector. They need now to go back to the drawing board with the help of us, the, of, of Vugam Ngoma and other organizations. And we must help them to create the structures within the government structures. Then that will also assist for them not to be seen. Remember, uh, in this traditional health sector, we're fighting amongst ourselves, you know? Mm -hmm. And I still say, it was the government's way to divide and rule, and we are divided. However, we're missing the point of who is our focal point here. Our focal point is the government because the environment, the environment created was not clear enough. The, envir the environment created was not strategized in such a way that they themselves understand Tina, Abantubenda Mbuk, because we've got only two structures. So they need to flatten those two structures because they look, they look after certain programs. They don't look at the structure to run and give the traditional health sector uh, credibility and legitimacy. The most biggest thing is the legitimacy of existence within our country. You know? So we need to have that platform. So if Vugam Goma wants to engage with the Department of Health, we will want to engage with them. We have a proposal for them. We have a presentation that we will give to them and say, this is the way forward that we want us. And maybe we can even actually 
consult with the other provinces because remember the fish rots from the head. So if the national government is rotting around the traditional health sector, the other provinces departments will also follow suit. So we're not happy in Gauteng, they are not happy in Eastern Cape, they're not happy in KwaZulu-Natal, they are not happy in Limpopo, they are not happy in Northwest in Free State. And some of the, of the provinces have decided just to keep quiet and not continue. But we need the Vugam Goma, we say in going forward, we are going to deal with the head because that's where it rots. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Yes. Thank you so much, Boko. Thank you so much for that. We are out of time. I'm going to now um, speak to Boko Nomsa. Thank you so much for your, for your, thank you for your contribution. We um, really appreciate your time. Thank you, Boko. Thank you so much. Can I stay in for Boko Nomsa? Yes, yes. So you can, so I'm going to, um, I'm going to end our call. But you are welcome to listen to Boko Nomsa's. Okay, mm -hmm. I've lost her. I think acting up again. Um, thank you so much. So, uh, let me see. I'm going to now. It's just bring... interesting to know that there are things like uh, Goma, yeah. Okay, especially for the Bangoma who don't belong. Any organization, yeah, yeah, are not registered with anybody mm. because of, of uh, not just the qualities in the organization, but just it's mainly because you just don't oh, believe that you're in it. Yeah, let's go for that. Togoza, how are you? I'm fine, and how are you? Togoza, to you and all the listeners, yes. Togoza, um, Goko, if you could please introduce yourself. And let us know how you came to be a part of the Wugam Goma campaign, please. We can start there. Um, Togozan, Bandabatara Togozani, everybody who's um, tuned in. My name is Nomsa Sbego from Pretoria. And um, I am a member or part of the Wugam Goma campaign. We started this campaign um, when the government took out regulations, gazetted, wanted to gazet um, government regulations. And um, we came in as traditional healers that were not necessarily affiliated to any um, traditional healers organization. We came in as independent traditional healers to say, um, you are not going to put something down on paper and gazet it without involving us and without finding out from us what it is that, that, that you, are, you want to do. And um, we then decided we were going to put together is Angoma from all walks of life um, from throughout the country that are not necessarily belonging to anybody, although we are not excluding anybody who belongs to other organizations, because we are saying Vugam Goma, which means you as a traditional healer, wherever you may be, whether you have affiliations or not, there are things that are being decided around the country on, on your behalf without you knowing what's happening. And we have decided in that case that we are going to speak for ourselves to get ourselves out there so that people know that we also have needs and we also have um, objections to some of the decisions that are made in, in, in our name without consulting us. Um, we started the campaign and we successfully um, did stop the regulations from going through um, by having to petition in front of the Department of Health and um, we, we, we signed an agreement with them that they will consult us going forward. The sad part of that is that immediately after that, I think um, communications with the Department of Health started dwindling. There was less communication with them. And although they've got our addresses, email addresses and everything else, they never um, bothered to consult us um, further than that time. So we have decided to come back up again, to rise again as a Vugam Goma, because we discovered that there are meetings that are being held in light of COVID-19 right now, and the situation in the country. There are meetings that are being held um, in secret. I'm going to say in secret because we never get feedback. We never get told about what happened in those meetings. We never get told what is the way forward from those meetings. And all that we are crying for as Vugam Goma is the um, transparency and the, and the knowledge that um, has been gleaned from those messages to be decimated to the people on the ground. We are traditional healers. There's about close on 400,000 undocumented, but plus minus 400,000 traditional healers in this country. And by virtue of that, it means that you have a lot of constituents that you are speaking on, 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 on whose behalf you speak. 
And it is only prudent and important that when you speak on such a large number of people, at least let them know that you're speaking on their behalf. At least let them know what happened in that meeting. Keep us in the loop so that we can also make our own contributions. Maybe we don't agree with some of the things that you've said. Maybe we've got better ways of saying what you have said, or we've got better ways of dealing with the problem as, 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 you, as you put it. But because you don't give us the platform or the, the space to voice our, our, our concerns, you end up making decisions on our behalf without consulting us. And that's what Ubugamgoma is saying right now. And we are saying, people must stand up. Izangoma must stand up and come and be a part of this campaign. We were calling out, we're using platforms like social media, um, all social media platforms, Facebook, Instagram, you name it, to basically put our names out there and to say to Izangoma, wherever you are in your home, can you stand up and speak to us? and tell yeah. us what is happening. We are not begrudging anybody belonging to an organization. We're not begrudging anybody being at the top of the leadership of that organization. For, for us, that means nothing, especially if you don't come back and tell us what you did in that meeting. We have yeah. constantly been asking for the structures of the supposed leaders of, of, of this country within the traditional healing sector. And it has proven very difficult to, to get answers from people that purport to, 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 to be leading us. We are still trying to find those, those kinds of information. So as of Vugam Goma, we're saying, we are standing up right now and calling out to every traditional healer out there and saying, do not allow people to make decisions on your behalf in your name without you knowing what it is that they're doing. We need to know what's happening. The African traditional medicine sector is it's, it's there, it's in, it's in existence by name only, but not in reality. And the reason for that is there's no proper structures. We need to start by putting to organizing ourselves from ground, from ground level, from, from local um, communities where we, we know each other as traditional healers. Let's come together, put together a database and then go out there and be heard for lack of a better mm. word. What was that? Mm. Um, why do you think the exclusion is happening? What, what, um, what do you think is the reason behind that? I think what has happened is that um, a couple of years back, uh, I think close on 15 to 16 years back, they started organizations um, in, in collaboration with the government. And the organizations that were started, unfortunately, did not um, include the majority of traditional healers out there. They did not include the ones that are coming up at the moment and the ones that were did come up after the, 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 the starting of this thing. And they started those organizations, but they've been working, I would say in secret, because a lot of them, apparently we have, we have provisional, provincial leadership, we have national leadership, we've even got district leadership, but in those leaders, leaders we, we don't know who they are. Only a handful of, full of people know who these people are. And they attend regular meetings, apparently. And in those regular meetings, there's, there's, there's feedback that they give only to their constituents, I guess, and not the rest of us. Where I want to challenge them is to say, if you're saying you're going to represent traditional healers nationally, let us know who you are. Let us find out who you are. From local level, we need to find out who you are. And I think that their reasoning for, for, for keeping it secret possibly is because of um, their own personal um, view on, on life and traditional healing, I guess, I don't know. But I'm, I'm, I'm disputing the titles that they give to themselves and speak on our behalf on national television, um, in meetings and everywhere else without letting us know. Keep, mm. us, keep us in the loop. Tell us what's happening. Mm. Mm -hmm. um, and then, um, so you mentioned an open call for um, some for, for traditional healers everywhere to participate and to um, you know join the movement. How is it that people can um, how is it that people can participate in this movement, in this campaign? Okay, we have at the moment um, a Facebook page called Hashtag Vugam Goma, where I'm, I'm actually calling out on everybody to please put down their names, surnames and addresses over there. And what we will do with all the information that we gather, at some point after we've compiled it um, per region, I'm suggesting that we take this information through to the Department of Health because I had a meeting, um, we had a meeting with them last week in Johannesburg where um, the coordinator actually um, called out 
for knowledge of, of, of the different traditional healers, even in their individual capacity, so that in future, should there be any communique from the Department of Health, they can speak directly to you, sending an SMS to you and letting you know what's happening around you and about you goes a long way. Mm -hmm. So for the moment, I would encourage Izinyanga out there that want to join the campaign to um, follow the hashtag Vugamgoma page. Um, I'm sure there'll be more uh, platforms that we're going to create, but as soon as we create them, we will let everybody know, as we've always done, um, what, what, it, what, what, what is going on. And when you follow the Vugam, hashtag Vugamgoma campaign, you'll be able then to see what is happening because with every meeting that we attend and everything that we do or everything that we are going to do, we will let people know. You will be very privy to all the information and everything that comes out of there. Should there be any um, monies allocated in the future, you will know that there's monies allocated for this and that in the future. You will also have an input because we would like for you to participate um, in everything that we, we do um, on your behalf and, 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 and going forward. And I, I feel that that's very, very important that people get involved in deciding or having a say in their lives. You'd find that a lot of us have got exactly the same problems or same issues that we are facing. But because we're facing them from our little corners and people are saying that they're, they're speaking on, a, on our behalf, they're unable to take the issues that we have forward to the powers that be and to say to mm. them, this is what's happening. You understand? Mm. So we, we, are, we are trying to get to a point where Vugam Goma is like, um, is, is like a, a, a watchdog, for, for, for lack of a better word, um, where we need to be included and be involved in every governmental meeting that takes place. At least a representative of Vugamgoma needs to be there. And the greatest thing about it is we are not limited to organizations. If they can just call any one of us, we will come back and give you feedback on what has happened in that meeting as that meeting took place and what the outcomes are and how you're going to actually go ahead and... and, and, and push it forward. Um, I see here, there's a question that how are we going to reach healers in rural areas? Yes. We have the, the most beautiful thing about e hashtag Vugam Goma is the fact that it does not exclude anybody. And people in rural areas also have um, social media. They also have platforms that they can actually um, speak to. Unfortunately, because it's a campaign with no money at the moment, we are unable to travel to those places. But in your little corner, as Ukoko, who is part of hashtag Vugamgoma, I urge you to go and speak to the people in the rural areas, as I have done with some of the people that I know, where I go to Abokoko who do not have social media, who do not have phones that we can have um, AMA meetings with. And I've, I've, I've spoken to them about Vugamgoma, I've spoken to them about what's happening. And most of them are in support of it, mainly because then they see that there's somebody who's letting them know what's happening. In the past, they've been told to sign forms and do things without knowing where the story comes from or where the story is going. Where does my signature go after this? They have no clue. But we, I, I'm urging everybody as well who has got this platform and who's able to see what's happening on hashtag Bugamgom to go out there to those to those um, cockers who are out in rural areas and let them know what is happening for them and around them. Should we mobilize and things come together and we do have the cloud to actually move around from province to province, we'll do that. We will do that. Mm -hmm. And we have representatives as in Yanga. Ivugam Goma has representatives throughout the country because everybody Otwasile is being represented by hashtag Ivugam Goma. And you can have your say and you can stand up yourself as well and take information to healers in in, in, in rural areas. And as Ukoko Pagat is saying, there's radio stations as well where we can actually go and, 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 and give them information through that. We can do something like that. It's, it's not a problem. We, we have platforms. We just need to go out there and use those platforms to keep our people informed. Mm -hmm. right. Thank you so much. Do you have, do you have um, anything that, it is that you'd like to ask Dr. One second. Thank you so much for that. Um, I'm just, I'm, I'm thinking about the ultimate, what is the ultimate um, vision that, or the ultimate outcome that we were looking to achieve with um, with Bugam Goma, what's the, the, the I, I don't want to say end goal because this is something that's now um, I, I'm um, assuming meant to be a, a long term sustainable. Um, what is it? The ultimate, I guess the the the, the vision that um, we're the looking to, vision. to yeah yeah with, with mm. Bugam Goma. I think the ultimate vision for Ruvugam Goma is to be, as I said, sort of like a monitoring or a watchdog body that will make sure that 
whatever is said in meetings or in, in any way is told to Labo Bangoma and allowing them a space to voice their issues and problems so that in future there is no confusion as to what's happening in the sector. We should put the sector together and we should make sure which this sector is run in, in, in a clean and correct manner with all parties involved knowing what is happening within their sector. That is our biggest cry. You need to know as a Sangoma what is happening in your sector and let no decision be made in your name without you. Let no um, monies be spent in your name without you. Let no campaigns be run without you knowing what is happening. Because I feel that you have possibly a very meaningful contribution to make towards the advancement of Uwunyanga out there. And I, 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 I want us as traditional leaders to start standing up for our rights mm -hmm. and not letting um, um, a few individuals run and speak on our behalf and leave us out of the loop. And then we end up getting told that this and this and this was decided without us knowing about it first, where it started, where it's going and contributing to whatever that is needed to be taken forward so that we can advance the sector. Because the sector at the moment, it's there, it's alive, it's thriving, but it is not organized. It is not organized at all. Mm. Mm. We do need that organization. Mm. Thank you so much, Coco. Um, I think I, I'm hoping that you've um, said everything that it is that may you had to say. Do you have something to add? Yeah. yeah. That, uh, that maybe, maybe, that maybe because of the lack of structure in, in, in our, in, in, in the Bunya sector as, as traditional health practitioners, that because we do not have structures that actually represent us, uh, all of us as an entirety, that may, that the government can actually tap into, with in, in terms of this time around, like like this time around, the Department of Health, maybe because of the lack of organization, unity is what makes them the government go out there looking for individuals, or they do not know how to where to approach us to find us as a collective. To get mm -hmm. our voice, maybe in Zara Isa like it, maybe we should do something. We need to be more proactive in organizing ourselves, and so that so that we are not looked at. We are not an afterthought each time. That our rights, that we are there as a body, and our rights are always represented. And also, we need to come to the bottom. We need to get to a place where we get to the bottom of all these acts that have been uh, outstanding, all these regulations. Those things, then something needs to be done about those things, so that we we actually are we we have an act, we have laws instead of just being this thing that is just anything could happen to us at this point actually because there's there's no structure and the laws are not there to protect us, mm -hmm. they do not protect our interests. Mm -hmm. So goes a goal. Togozan, um, I agree with you in the fact that um, the, 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 the onus lies on us as traditional here to stand up and organize ourselves. It, 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 it lies with us to have structures that make sense. There's a question that was asked here by Uki Dumitz, I think, if I'm not, if I'm not wrong, who asked yeah, which, where was Vugam Goma? Yeah, where was Vugam Goma all this time? And, and why are they, are they not fighting against positive change? The question that I have for you, Gidumets, is what positive change are you talking about? Because at the end of the day, whatever is going on in the sector, we, we, we know nothing about. So if, if you are privy to the positive change that's happening, please let us know, and then we can answer you accordingly. Um, in terms of us not, not being around, that's not true. We are a campaign that was brought together um, by circumstance, by the fact that regulations were out there and they were going to come through and be pushed through on us without consulting us. Hence, we went and we stopped it and we said, from then on forward, we need to have Izangoma involved in drafting whatever regulations that are going to be affecting Izangoma going forward and not drafted in some um, office with um, pharmacists and doctors and everybody else and just nine, because that was the first initial structure, with just nine traditional healers. I mean, there's 400,000 of us out there. So at least allow us to have a voice and something to basically say. And um, if Uge Dumete has got um, information 
that they've got of the positive change that has taken place within the traditional healing sector in the past couple of years, by all means, please let us know about it because we just want to know just as you have, have discovered the positive change. Because so far, what I've seen and with the people that I've spoken to and organizations that, that, that we have um, spoken to, it's haphazard. There's, there's, they, people speak for their own organizations, but not for the whole, for the collective. But in the public forum or public platform, they say they're speaking for all of us. But the truth of the matter is they're not. You cannot speak for me when I don't know about you. So at the end of the mm. day, if you have information, please let us know. Togozan, I hope I answered your question. Togozan, Togozan, thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I think we, I think we can, I think it's, it's safe to wrap up. Um, thank you so much for joining us. Um, and thank you for voicing and sharing, uh, sharing Bugam Goma and sharing on Bugam Goma for us. We do have a 10 minute window open. If there's any, I'm gonna just check if there's any outstanding questions. Um, okay, yes. so Kimeta is again with a response. Um, she is asking, she says, what is your fight? What is your complaint? Where, what exactly is the problem with those healers that managed to honor an invitation with the OA to the Department of Health? I hear this panel managed to get permits for healers. Um, we, we have this, you see, that's where the people go wrong. We're not fighting anybody with mm. this. There is no fight here. We are mm. saying whatever you have done behind closed doors, let it come out and let the rest of us know and let us know what is happening. The Uki Dumete is saying that, um, we have a problem with the healers that managed to honor the invitation. They were invited by the department. We were not. The, the issue here is just that. How are they invited without the rest of the people knowing how they are invited? If I were to ask the people that are listening to this right now, I, I wonder how many of them even knew that there was an invitation by the Department of Health to attend a meeting. That is where our problem is. Let the people know that there is something like this so that you, the person who's going out there as leadership to represent Izinyanga, get told from those people exactly what it is that they want you to put forward to the Department of Health. We are not saying we want to be in the meeting with the Department of Health with you. We are saying at the end of the day, let there be a representative in there who has the interest of the people on the ground, not the interest of five or six people that you've spoken to, but everybody collectively, as many people as we can reach, so that they can also add their contribution to whatever it is that you're going to say to the Department of Health so that you can get their, their issues answered and 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 addressed. And then um, they managed to get permits for healers. Those permits, how many healers out there, I'm talking about in the platform that I'm at right now, how many healers out there have the permits? How many healers out there know how the permits work? How many healers know where to go get the permits? Things like that. Um, the reason why there's been such a, 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 a low turnout of people with permits is because people did not know about them. You possibly are one of the lucky ones who did, but those who actually found out about permits, um, some of them never received at all. I'm a permit work on. And now the question is, what is the way forward? How do we do this? The people that we that that went out there, not sent by us, they went out there because they were invited by the Department of Health, um, came back and said that they got permits for healers. Did they mm -hmm. give that information to healers to say that we've got permits for you and how you're going to go get those permits? Um, those are the things that Uvugam Goma is basically talking about. Uguti, should you get information from the Department of Health or should you be going to the Department of Health? Let the people know so they can furnish you with questions and answers that you will then take through to the Department of Health on their behalf so that mm -hmm. their questions and, and gripes are, 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 are attended to. Togozan. I think this also is now needs to be an ongoing conversation. Um, and mm -hmm. we will also, you know, um, keep updated with um, whatever progress is made after this. Thank you for sharing. Um, I think everybody is well informed on this. So really, really appreciate you joining us. Thank you so much, Boko. Chogaza, thank you very much for inviting me. And I'm hoping that there'll be more conversations like this because Abangoma need to be heard. Chogaza, it seems that Abangoma not that it seems that Bangoma are not organized, mm -hmm. one. Two, mm -hmm. Bangoma are represented, uh, or they, Bangoma, there's talks happening around the Bangoma mm -hmm. that Bangoma are not aware of, that they actually, actually need to voga mm -hmm. and, uh, and participate. And be more proactive. And, and participate. Mm -hmm. Also, another thing is Bangoma are, I think also because we're just laid back people. 
this political, this politics and things like that are not for us. Mm -hmm. I'm just speaking for myself mm -hmm. here. Because my focus is healing for myself, healing mm -hmm. of my people, for my people, and, and healing for my tribe. So my focus is really is really around the healing. Mm -hmm. It's not around the politics of it and mm -hmm. and but we cannot exist outside of the mm -hmm. politics. So we need to there needs to be a governance. We need to involve ourselves. Mm -hmm. We need to make sure that we know what is going on mm -hmm. out there as a bamboo. Mm -hmm. So that is the talk that should actually and happen. And there is those that I think are specifically called for that. Mm -hmm. You know, there are those that are called to mm -hmm. actually govern the space and to help organize and you know, bring make sure that there's some kind of order. Um, so it also needs to be kind of a balancing of people need to know, you know, there there has to be that transparency mm -hmm. and then that understanding of who can actually take up certain roles because we can't all, you know, be doing the same thing. But I mean as 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 like he said, it's a, it's a, we're all called different mm -hmm. and in, besides the calling we also have different skills. Mm -hmm. There's people that and we have uh, different competencies, we mm -hmm. have different also we education. Mm. So we have different capabilities. Mm. So the valid there will be people that will do things that not all mm. of us can do. Mm. So when I fill in is where I should fill in. Mm. I, 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 I'm I'm good at communication. I'm mm. good at I would never be accused of a situation where if I am not uh, communicating whatever to whoever. Mm. Because that is my gift. Mm. That is how I that is how I that's my natural ability. Mm. You know. So then uh, but I also will not be sitting in a, and wanting to lead Aba mm -hmm. in a, to, to, to form a whole political mm -hmm. structure. I would mm -hmm. not want to be wanting to do that because that's not my space. Even though people keep trying to do that to you. Because of, of, of the place, space that I find myself yeah. in, we are in communication and people suddenly will, I like it, uh, you, you can't blame them for thinking that. Way. Yeah, yeah. But what I provide is, is totally different from mm -hmm. what the government structure provide mm, so mm. we need to actually identify our skills and work in in our strong points that is how we should be working thank you so much guys for joining um everybody's opinion is valued and we really appreciate every and also opposing i really um i i encourage debate and you know constructive it debating it it's happen. very very it's, it's it's important because also you know it's not a uniform space and the space yes the space is and it's really necessary to open a safe space for for both for opposing views to be you know um to be explored in a, in a in a dignified manner also, so let me say that this, part of it is feeling heard yeah yeah you, you have, have to, to be heard, heard. Mm. because if you're not heard then you you're, you're being stifled yeah and that also will affect your work, mm -hmm. your healing work, because mm -hmm. you need to be in an okay space mm -hmm. for you to be healed. You need to cut a leg. Yes. And also while we're now doing whatever activity in whatever corner, you also need to be okay. Mm -hmm. you, you can't be representing or or, or leading. Mm -hmm. Or leading if you are feeling a type of way. Mm -hmm. You need to also be healed. Mm -hmm. So as long as there is noise and negativity, not there's not much then, progress that is yeah. going to happen. Anyway, and then so everybody needs to be heard. You need to be okay. Mm. Why, when are you doing the leading? So that it's progress, mm. because that is our work. Our work mm. is energy. If there's opposing energies to any work that is intended for good that is happening, then it's not going to give the outcome that it's supposed to give. Mm. So was that my So was I And if we're all here with good intentions, our goal is ultimately the same. Um, it's it's about progressing the space and bringing the space to an elevated level where we're all heard and we're all, um, you know, all he traditional healers um, are validated. Oh, wow. um, I'm going to end the live now. Thank you so much for joining us, guys. Um, I'm late. What's the topic? <laughs> Is it Akua6027? We are very, very late. We're literally ending the live. We're almost done. I love it. That. but we will be putting this up on our youtube channel um so do uh, stay tuned um stay posted on the youtube channel and we will be and we will be yeah we'll be sharing this um sometime during this coming week i'm trying to do a video um almost daily at least five videos a week um on the youtube channel so um that there is constantly new content for people to check out thank you so much for joining us I really, really appreciate.
Um, here I promote, Mazu says, I promote constructive criticism, not disrespect and unnecessary mm, comments. Nice, uh, this person needs cleansing. <laughs> uh, so that's, that, that, that's kind of echoes, you know, what I was saying. I really agree. It is, it, this, and what we try to do really is to create a safe space. Um, for, for for traditional healers to be heard. And that's, you know, that's been the goal, that is still the goal, and it will continue to be the goal. Thank you so much. We do try not to take sides, especially when it comes to, um, you know, topics of debate, topics of this nature. We try to, to remain neutral so that everybody um, has a chance to be heard because everybody's voice is valid. Thank you so much, guys, for no joining us. So Wazile, and we will see you on our next live. I'm not sure when it is, but we will let you tomorrow. know. So stay updated. Oh yeah, tomorrow. So we'll see you tomorrow. So that's it. That's it. That's it.